She said it will never go away. I know there is nothing left to say. Can we try to hold on just for now? Even if we don't know how to show them what we're all about. Oh, 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 oh. Good evening, my name is Sue, and I hate video games. <laughs> my name is September, and I love video games. Hi, Zoo. Hello. Damn. It is so good to be here. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to be playing Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak with you, my uh, wonderful uh, dear friend and sister-in-law on this date march 1st 2023 i have that effect on people it's it's great i'm very excited about it 
<laughs> All right. You know what I forgot to do today? What did you forget to do today? I forgot to shave one of my legs. Oh, rad. Yeah. On the bright side, the hair is not growing back as quick as it had started to with that tumor. Oh, yeah. So uh, my hormones are back in balance. That and estrogen will do that to you. Mm-hmm. Hi, Cherry. Hi, Beekeeper. Hello. I had Hi, a... I had a quite long time where I was having difficulty growing uh, back the hair on my legs, too, but that's because I disaffected the skin mm. by uh, sliding along the bottom of the lazy river at the 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 water park mm-hmm. because it had like a stucco bottom, right, with all the like sticky things sticking out. And I oh. slid along it on like my thighs or not my thighs, but like my Four legs? What the fuck do you call the bit on your legs between the knees and the ankles? The shins? Thank you. I was sliding along on the sides of my shins, and it just took all the hair off, and I just couldn't grow hair on the sides of my legs for, like, two years. Ah, I should try that. Yeah. I don't recommend it. Like, there, there's better ways, ways that won't get you weird looks. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. They're your looks. You take them if you want. <laughs> I mean, I don't think that would work for me because I think it would actually tear off a couple layers of skin. Oh, yeah, maybe. I just yeah, don't that's... grow leg hair, never have. I was worried a couple of doctors, but my hormone levels are okay. Well, that's wild. Using the bottom really... of the pool is real cheap. That's true. It's only like 20 bucks to get into a water slide park now. Which is way too much, but, you know. I mean, it's more expensive, like, for us. Mm-hmm. Because there's all of the human cost of, like, putting up with a bunch of people staring because we're in swimsuits in public. I haven't had that problem often. Um... I'm glad for you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it it sucks to go out to public places like that. I don't want to go to swimming places specifically because I have a fucking five o'clock shadow. And it'll wash off my makeup. Mm Mm-hmm. I, uh, don't want to have to buy a, like, specialized swim suit that has, like, a skirt on top of it. To, mm. So that I don't show off my bodacious bulge, because mm. you know that sort of thing it gets commented upon. Mm-hmm. I can my probably sh- close sh- a couple of these windows. My shaders are compiling. Ah, hey, Octavia. Hello. God damn it! I did this so I could like get into the chat, and then I forgot to. Here we are. I can see things now. Hi, Octavia. Hi, Cherry. Hi, Beekeeper. We're going to play some Monster Hunter Rise. Mm-hmm. We're, ge- we're getting back to it after a month. New s- added new story elements. Oh, good. They, they're they expanding upon the story even further. We there's wait new monsters. Month- and we won't outpace them at this rate. Yeah, there's new monsters and there's new afflicted monsters. And a new Elder Dragon. Arisen Elder Dragon, which I don't think we fought any of. Oh, I, I. Here's what Monster Hunter has done to me, Zoo. I mm-hmm. did not recognize that as the word Risen. Mm-hmm. I assumed it was like Risen, some sort of electric monster that I hadn't seen yet. <laughs> Too bad we didn't get to fight the horse. I hope we get to fight the horse. There was a horse to fight? Yeah, the first Elder Dragon ever. Was, was, a a, horse? was a horse. Oh. My master rank is lagging 107 levels behind my hunter's rank. I have not played it for, for a month. Uh, same. I logged in earlier so that I could, like, get reused to the controls, and I did a, a quick fight. Mm-hmm. And there was some 
shopping that I needed to take care of. But all of that's done now. Mm -hmm. You know, Aaron has four legs when you're looking. Mox, Mox pit, knows pit, how pit, fun pit, Kieran pit, is pit, to fight. Pit. Hello, Mox. Honestly, one of the most interesting, fun, and unique fights in the series. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Grab add-on content first. Oh, let me make sure I'm in the... Yes, I am. Uh, it's all just event quests, and there aren't any. He told me there aren't any. There are, there are no new event quests for you to download. Mm-hmm. But there are new event quests. You just don't have to download them. Yep. You've done that part already. You can kick back and relax and just take part in the new event quests after you accept them, after you've downloaded them. Mm-hmm. I don't know why that's a necessary feature. I presume it's something that, if it wasn't there, would break the entire game in unforeseen ways. I think it has to do with the fact that it's originally a Switch game, and the way the network stuff works is different in that. Oh, right. Lobby invite. Invite, as they say in France. Yeah. Checking in, yeah. Checking in, yeah. Oh, Mox no, loves Lightning Horse. I forgot lightning horse how is to do so this. Good. I've, I've accepted an invitation to play Monster Hunter Rise, so now all I have to do is accept the invitation to play Monster Hunter Rise. Oh, you can add more anomaly slots now. See you soon. Of course, we need to actually collect enough amp. Oh, that's nice. I like that. That's, you are, that's rad as fuck. You are, uh, uh, that, you kicked back a lot. Do what? I, I can hear you echoing. And I can hear myself in my headphones. It's... Fuck. That shouldn't be happening. Oh. Alright, let me see this. It shouldn't be... Are you sure you don't have Monster Hunter's um, voice chat on? I... There's no reason you should be hearing me according to my own readouts. No, it is the Monster Hunter Rise. Uh, how do I turn that the fuck off? Not hearing echo, that's good. Um, let me actually look, because I turned it off when I first got the game. And haven't since, and apparently it may have just turned itself back on. Yeah, apparently. I I've turned it yep. off. Yep, it's just it in the turned settings. it on. That's some shit. Fuck you, Capcom. No one wants to voice chat with strangers. Uh, so, uh, you were... I, I see that you noticed my new outfit. Mm-hmm. That's because today's a special day. Mm-hmm. So let me uh, hit a number in the chat here just real quick. All right. Because I wrote it down. Bang quote. 3616. So let's hire some <laughs> cats to pilot some submarines is the first quote from our first Monster Hunter Rise stream on February 2nd, 2022, which means Ow. that with the advent of this stream we have been streaming monster hunter rise for over a year now wow yeah that hadn't even occurred to me i know right this game this game just sucks you in it's been a it's been a long time i wish i could be going <laughs> thanks to your research contributions into the anomaly we've discovered more undocumented afflicted monsters and sooner or later we'll be asking you to investigate these monsters if you know what i mean <laughs> Same deal. You get some new materials to enhance your gear. I further my anomaly research. Everyone benefits. Ah. Whoop. Whoa. All right. What I'm are sorry, we did the Hari just ask us to bang a monster? Yes. Oh, why? It doesn't oh, seem that's like how it you work. investigate, apparently. Oh. All right, let's see. Anomaly research quests. You can now take follow. We, the, we already had this. Yeah, but now we have it more. Apparently. All right. Let's see. Is Royal Ludroth level two, level sixteen? That could be fun. Want to sure, fight a level sixteen Royal Ludroth? It's it's one of these things where I can say with confidence, "Hey, we fought Royal Ludroth last time." 
Mm -hmm. But it was a month ago. Yep. So that's fine. Good warm up. Yeah. Great it's a warm simple up. Simple monster, even with it constantly using its uh, movement. Uh, Beekeeper says the this has been a, become a regular Wednesday social event for me. I've been happy for it, which we're glad of. I'm very happy for that. After we're finished this, we're gonna start doing the uh, Elden Ring, um, flawless, flawless multiplayer, whatever it is. But there's uh, a seamless, seamless co-op. Thank you. Yes. And that can have up to I believe eight players. So if anyone is interested, please let us know. But it's definitely gonna be the two of us. Yeah. Unless you tell me not to. I have no reason to. I I wouldn't think you would. <laughs> Maybe I'll be the healer since I've already soloed everything in the game. You can um, be a healer. Alright, so it takes extra damage from... Fire. It's weak to fire. Okay. Um, it's and very it's immune weak to fire, water. Hey? Yep. Okay. Might be, interested in, might be interested in playing as long as Elden Ring isn't expensive. It goes on sale sometimes. It does go on sale sometimes, but I'll it's still going to be out. like a $40, probably. Let me see what I can find right now. Um, okay. Are you going to isthereanydeal.com? Yep. Let me just check real quick. Cool, you do that, and I'm going to finish this bowl of ice cream. I say Elden Ring. Uh, you can currently get it on two game for $35. Isn't terrible. Um, Dream Game has it too, but I don't know anything about Dream Game. I've used two game before. Um, according to this, two game does not actually have it at that price. And is there any deal was lying to me on one? So it's Ooh. not on sale right now. I would wait until it is. I sure love when two pieces of technology in the same application or website in this case uh, tell me two completely different things. It's 5% off, sure is. Hardly consider that a sale. Hiya, Freckles. I appreciate you always bringing your buddies me out on quests with you. On behalf of all the buddies here, I'd like to give you a token of thanks. Burp. Keep up the companionable conduct. I got another lag -me apple. Oh no, a bitter wind blows. You're gonna give me a boss fight, aren't you? Good day to you. Fierce. Impeccable timing, as usual. I have a rather annoying Elder Dragon to deal with it as frostbiting my last nerve. Oh, it's ice elemental, you'd say. A Velcana, to be exact. This creature has been turning everything around it into a frigid wasteland. It must be disposed of post-haste! I would have gladly given it a taste of my blade, but something urgent has come up. You know how things these things go, I'm sure. The other Chevaliers are quite busy as well, so really there's no one else we have to turn to but you. So off you go then, I'm sure that you, being the fierce flame that you are, will have no trouble melting that frigid. Well then, talk to our Princess Chiche when you're ready to take on the quest. Ta-ta! I like that guy because he's a doofus. Right, he's let's... better than a lot of the other, like, hunters around here who appear to have quite high opinions of themselves. Uh-huh. Hugger, fighter, and water. See how that goes. Damn, Fran, that is a big stack of pretzels. How big a stack of pretzels is it? It's like, it's easily taller than me. Ooh, that's a lot of pretzels. Yeah, right? You should come over and check this pretzel tower. I would, but I'm watching the gay cats. Ah, uh, okay. The Monster Hunter Gale Cats are my buddies. The Monster Hunter Gale Cats are everyone's buddies, except the monsters, I guess. Some monsters, though. 
Technically, they're monsters too, by the definition given in universe. Monster in this universe being a shorthand for uh, creatures that have been meddled with by science man dare not know? Yes. Okay, now I'm hearing myself come back on your mic. Oh, um... Only seems to happen if I talk immediately after you do. So that's not a big deal. No, it's probably just the close not closing quite, quite as quick. Yeah. All right, so I'm ready to go when you are. Uh, I need to eat a food real quick. Okay. Food broth is water, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It mostly does physical attacks, but its water attacks are the most devastating ones. Uh, let's go with that. Oh, I'm out of Dango tickets. That's fine. Do you think Pasapato the Historian is um, friends with Big Hat Logan? Uh, no, but I think he might be Snufkin's weird uncle. I don't know Snufkin. Uh, from Moomin. Oh, shit, I haven't seen Moomin, Moomin since, like, the 80s. I haven't seen a lot of Moomin, but there was a there was a period of time where I could not get away from Moomin screenshots. Ah, uh, oh yeah, when it got when it came when it came back into popularity a couple years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that, but yeah, I haven't seen it since I was very little, so I didn't catch the name off. I am ready. Mm. Sorry, almost done. Moomin came up in conversation last night in the household. Well, that's lovely. Okay, did I remember to... My items. Oh, Item I definitely did nope. I'm gonna... Looks like we're both gonna duck in this tent real quick. Yep. Oh my god, please. you It's giving us fucking... So annoyed. It's giving us, uh... Can I let me in with you? Oh, there we go. Ooh. Uh oh. Well, that's a shame. What's up? Oh, I don't. Um. I have one. I have one heavy potion. Mm hmm. And uh, not quite the ability to make more. Oh. Yeah, I should have ground for some honey or something. It'll be fine, I'm sure. Mm hmm. I just just don't get hit forehead. Exactly. Just don't get hit. Maybe I'll try using the, the meat bait. It's never been super useful in these games. Baits. But occasionally I've had fun with it. Mushroom. Mushroom. Going around the long way to see if I can spot any more uh, buffer birds. That makes sense. I'm just going to hang out behind you. Okay. I will lead you to all of the best birds. Hooray. I should have checked to see uh, what little quests I had going. Mm -hmm. I can see it sparkles from here. Which, the bird? Uh, Ludroth. Ah, okay. Right, armor skin, glug, and demon drug, demon glug. I'm a god bug. Excellent. I don't know what it does, actually. It's a crafting material. Ah, oh, okay. Get that dung beetle? I did. Because it's gonna get nice and prepared before we jump into this womp fight. Dog keeps pissing off this bug. Yeah, Kyle does that. All Kyle right. likes fighting bugs. That's that's something that I know to be true of many dogs. Ooh, hey, I found a uh, I found a flooded forest message. Ooh. Where are you? Are you still up above? 
Uh, I fell down onto one of the limbs of tree between oh, the top that, and the bottom. That seems a little too touchy for me to try right now. Yeah, it was... It, I did it entirely by accident. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I would be able to replicate it. Mm -hmm. I'm certain that I could, but it might take me a few tries, which wouldn't be terribly fun to watch on stream. Oh. Who, oh, you're Puke Puke. You're not, you're not Ludroth. No, not Ludroth the other way. There are little Ludroths down here. Get out of here, Puke. Nobody likes your style. Hi. Whoa, what the fuck? He just cold. yelled at me. Oh, Puke ran to my location. Yeah. And he didn't come with cash. Now, do you believe in the Monster Jam? I think Monster Jam is something else. All right. It happens on Sunday, Sunday, uh, Sunday. We are a Monster Jam this Sunday down at the Dallas Motor Expo. Do they still run that? The Monster Jam? There's yeah. certainly toys for it, so I presume so. It's just, if it is on TV, I'm not certain where to see it. Hmm. Back in the day, it was on TNN. Mm -hmm. So I saw uh, a lot of it because it was what was on just after uh, ECW, right? Uh-huh. Because ECW was on the Nashville network because no one else fucking wanted them. Yep. They were on oh, UPN right, for you. like... They were on UPN, I remember, for like a season. That's that wasn't really CW. <laughs> like, there's a reason why the first match on that show was a zombie in a ECW T-shirt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was. Um, I believe that was right after WWF bought them. Um, it would have been a little bit after because it would have been after Invasion. Yeah. Because of the uh, WW or WCW ECW alliance, this is this is a lot of really specific information about a very specific time in professional wrestling. Mm -hmm. I guess if you're not here for that, why are you here? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to hit it in the face. It's just not going well. Yeah, it's doing a lot of spinning and uh, switching aggro. Yeah, because it does its um. Hey, please quit honking at me. This thing. Uh, the curios make it spam its movement ability. Yep. I remember that being a problem we were dealing with. Oh, there we go. Yep. Oh, yeah. Good hits. Got the beats. We got the beats. We got the beats. We got the beats. I've never heard the term Nipari before. But I know instinctually what it means. Neeper is a thing we all do it. I have never... I don't know what that is either. I don't instinctually know what it is. Oh, just that, like, here is some really specific language. Ah, gotcha. Here's, here's a bunch of specific things. Mm -hmm. For me, that's uh, a lot of stuff like Monster Hunter. Mm-hmm. And the games that Monster Hunter spawned, like Dark Souls. Uh, I ran into it in the Society of Creative for Creative Anachronism initially among the Heralds. So when two or more people get very deeply into a topic and go down a rabbit hole together. Ah. That's, that is basically what this show is. Yep. Because, you know, we're just fighting monsters. While I talk about how about specific hitbox quirks. And I rant about how WCW Invasion was actually one of the best uh, pay-per-views WWF ever put on. Yep. If you ignore all of the story beats. Mm-hmm. I uh, specifically remember the storytelling was horrendous because it was all just... Vince McMahon uh, talking about how shitty these WCW wrestlers were. Yup. Meanwhile, they put on a hell of a show. 
Yeah, so it was all, it was dream matches all the way fucking down. Mm hmm Because it was the first time that we'd gotten really big official matches between people who were big in WCW and people who were big in WWF at the time, mm -hmm. and ECW. Because they had was there fucking... too. Also, Hulk Hogan was there, unfortunately. Actually, I don't think he was. Well, yeah, I could have swore he was on Invasion for a match. No, I think he left, uh... He left, he definitely left WCW before they got bought out, and I don't think he would have come back to WWF. Yeah. If they, if they had him, they would have put him in the, the, the main, and he wasn't in the main. Mm. Also, he despises Vince McMahon, so. Also, he despises Vince McMahon. like his Vince one McMahon. good personality trait. There's an interview with him. Where it's just him dancing around. Oh shit! Sorry. Oh, that's okay. Um, take it towards uh, Rathian, I guess. Got it. Other way. Other way. But there's no, this turn around, bud. Interview with Hogan, and I don't remember who the inter who's doing the interview, but he effectively just dances around the idea, making it sound very nice that if he is ever put in a ring with Vince McMahon, he would literally murder him. Yeah, I think that is a sentiment shared by a not small amount of people. Mm-hmm. Alright, I am on the way. I am as on the way as I can be. I'm skipping the roads and just climbing over the walls. That's cool. I've got to hold on. Uh, oops. Uh, nope, that's fine. Uh, can you get here in time to ride this other monster? Hello, I'm here now. You should ride this other monster real quick. I'm trying. Watch out! No, ride the. Thank you. It kept making me pick stuff up while I was mashing B. Let's go. There we go. Oh yeah, Rathian is so much fun to control. They had Undertaker and Kane versus Diamond Dallas Page and Chris Canyon. Oops, fuck. I accidentally uh, didn't use the finisher. Oh well. Still got the yeah, bump that's damage. Fine. Like, in what was absolutely. Uh, I'm sorry, almost certainly the biggest televised match of Canyon's career. Mm hmm. Be razor sharp. Don't get caught up fighting Rathian. Uh, I'm not. I'm just picking up all of these uh, greebles off the ground. Okay. Here I'm going to go. dump some uh, some bugs into this loot draw. Great. They had fucking Billy Kidman versus X-Pac versus Just Incredible. <laughs> like... It's 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 the best light heavyweights they could get a, a hold on it, that weren't specifically Luchadors because the Luchadors had their own match. All right, I forgot that Vince McMahon refused to believe anyone could be categorized as anything but a heavyweight. Yeah, yeah. I remember that now. Oh my God, please just get me some white. Thank Here you. We go. Oh, it's the tail that gives white. That's why it wasn't working. I was attacking the wrong part. Totally, totally um, my fault. He's, he's backing up. Yep, he's going for his tackle. Oh, There's a base bump. Is down. Mm -hmm. Watch out. Yep, yep, there's the devastating water attack. That thing will fucking kill you in one hit if you're not prepared for it. I got out of the way reasonably Oof. well. Oh, hey! Yeah. Bangerang. Hell yeah. Bananarama. Now, obviously, 99.9% .9 of the time, Scrubs was a really bad shit. 
uh, you will not find a dissenting opinion from me. Although I don't know where this is going. I was just thinking of the Todd, who was literally the best part of the show every time he was on screen. Like, wait, does that make you gay? Nah, man, I like girls. I'm just the Todd. And that's probably the best line from the whole series. Yeah. He was... He literally became the one person in the show who actually liked himself. Ooh, okay. Well... Oof. Yeah, I got juggled a little bit. Yeah. And I'm gonna keep knocking on him. Ooh. Or get bumped. Okay, I can take a bump. Nah, uh, that's not a good joke to make. About taking a bump? Yeah. That's what I that's what I do, you know, if it'll get someone over. Yeah, yes, that's that's also what I meant and was talking about. Hey, there's a lure there. I'm blasting him with my bug gun. But, whoa. Powering up. Ooh. I'm trying desperately to figure out how to get to where you are. The path in the northwest-ish that goes underground. Oh shit, he's gonna uh, explode. Oop, I have seen it. I'm coming down. Okay. I'm coming down. Whoa. I'm jumping down this hole. Fucking let him know. Remember how the radio was always full of really gay songs that people didn't think were gay? Uh, so the last time I was listening to the radio, I was still pretending to be a cis boy. Mm -hmm. uh, and doing a really good job at it to the point where I didn't know what I was doing myself. So I don't think I would have had the, the, the equipment to detect that. Ah. I mean, I'm coming out is pretty obvious, right? Yeah. It's literally called I'm coming out. The funny thing is the example that's usually used for that um, notice is uh, YMCA, which is the most obviously gay song to hit the radio, uh -huh. except maybe the Boys of Summer. Just you. I ran it into I it guess in the ska initially, among other heralds. It's more... Oh wait, that's yeah. I read it as ska too. <laughs> I also have run into the ska, but that's another thing. Ska also <laughs> pretty gay at times. You, you know, when the ska runs into you, all you can really do is pick yourself up, pick yourself up, pick yourself up. <laughs> Thank you. I was very happy with it. And you know, gay ska is just there for so the uh, so the normies don't oh, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. <laughs> I'm. Oh well... shit! Bring on back. There's that shoulder shackle. Yeah, I thought it was out of the way, but we're we're so close. I was just trying to score hits. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I can take him out. Yep. There we go. Oh, wonderful. You may want to now rush I back need... here to get the cards. Yeah, now I just gotta get to where you are so I can heal bits off of that monster and turn it into pants. Yep. I hope 100 Gex keeps making Hyper Ska. Me too. Are you down? Yeah. Do you need advice? There we go. Hey, yep. 
Okay, good. I still have 20 seconds. That should be enough to get all of these cars. Oh, yeah. And I'm playing Monster Hunter. I'm pretty much down for anything. Uh, at the I missed, horsey. I missed Kyle. Mm. It turns out. <laughs> we got some amber essences from that. I got a lot of research points because I got lost and found a lot of resources with curio around them. Mm -hmm. Hunter's Bronze Shield. Oh, thanks. Level 25, Ludroth is now available. Level 21, Izuchi. Level 21, Basarius. Hmm, those seem big. Mm-hmm. That's what we're moving into. Start working on these anomaly upgrades. Need to make eight more research requests. Also, the oh. Argosy's pickup box is full. Ooh, I should check my Meow scenarios. I'd forgotten the, I'd forgotten all about the Meow scenarios. Hmm. Uh, fish. B. Sparkly dragon. Fish. Same sparkly dragon. The five genders. Alright, Meow Scenarios, let's select a destination. God, I wish I could just fucking buy. Armor spears. Mm. I wish I could just have them. As long as you keep doing the optional quest, you should uh, be able to raise up your st store pretty decently. Orangutan, Happy Humble. Some Asmagala stuff. Smagala. Maybe. Maybe not. No, oh, no. It's uh, it's what happened when uh, it's uh, that the Smagala took the One Ring and uh, became Smagolum. That's... that's good. <laughs> the look on its face. <laughs> I... it's... The, it's... when you put the SMG sounds into the word. You start thinking about Red Dwarf? That's their curse word. I... I'm, I'm aware of that. <laughs> I'm, I'm also aware that, uh, like, ten-year-old asked, uh, the actors what it meant at a panel mm -hmm. and everyone cringed into their whole bodies <laughs> that's amazing gotta find a video of that okay Ooh. so she wants us to fight an ice dragon because the other guy chills thinking about it we have you um yeah i'm not really reading a lot of the dialogue today the new urgent quest Belkana. Wanna fight Belkana? Really? Are you sure? I'm asking. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. Uh, yeah. Let's fight. I have no idea what the fuck a Belkana is, except that it looks. Belkana like is a monster that Mox is terrified of. You see the one-off Red Dwarf cast did with Ainsley? No, I haven't, but I've heard of it. All right. Good old Velcana. See, Velcana is a lot more dangerous for ground-based people. 
though I do have an advantage here. Yeah, it must be nice. <laughs> I'm going to live high up in the sky above all of our mortal peasant mm -hmm. uh, problems. Yeah, I'm not, I don't see myself as above you, except physically. <laughs> All right. Let's see. So it is weak to fire again. It is immune to ice, and it uses ice attacks. <laughs> I think we got through it in like two or three tries once we uh, once we got into it online, didn't we, Mox? Didn't happen too terribly often. What the fuck is Triple Rose? Is that a new one? Oh, that's Carver. Never mind. My joke was very funny. It was a good joke. It uh, high ice resist. Slugger and fighter. Basically, Valkana turns the entire battlefield into ice a lot. Okay, so I should probably make sure that's a thing. Yeah. Also, the um, it's an elder dragon, so it can't be captured. Because several weeks did it? I, I believe you. I don't remember. Well, regardless, let's see how different it is in Rise. I think they've done a lot of good with the ways they've changed some of the uh, Elder Dragons. In this. They made fights that were previously not even fun, very fun. Um, is Valkyana uh, one that does one that bounces weapons very often? It does create ice armor on itself, which is okay. breakable, but it will wear down your weapons as armor. Is it worth it to take the Plector? It might be. Over, like, Slugger. I would go for Slugger personally, but I also have Slugger on. Uh, I had to do a whole session training. All right. I, I'll have to go back and watch that. When you've been playing Monster Hunter for almost 20 years, the memories start to blur together. Oh, that's a real shame. Sure is. I sure only is. no. I only. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be like that. I only got one proc off of my uh, off of my dongo meal. Mm. Well, that's a shame. Yeah. It is still fire. You said. Yes, it's still weak to fire. Okay. I got a lot of honey from my argosy, so I'm just gonna craft a whole bunch of mega potions real quick. I'll be mm. seeing you. I say a whole bunch. I made 15. Right, the training session, we finally went down and actually almost killed it and then quit out so that we could story on the stream. I remember that. And we were both like, err, do we, do we have to? All right, ready to go? Yes, I am stood by. Okay. Ooh, intro and all. <laughs> Baggy. When that bird is dead. Frozen statue. Remember the end of Goldeneye? Where the bird died? No, where uh, Boris Kirchenkov got turned into an icicle. Yes. Last name probably wasn't Kirchenkov. Boris, what's his name? Yeah. The anti bond. Alan Cumming is a really good actor. Mm hmm. Pretty sure we were having a straight up breakdown. Hmm. Grishinko is his last name. I'm ready. All right, this time I have my items ready. Leanna does do a lot of ice blight. 
No. I have a whole bunch of antidotes, so that shouldn't be a problem. Null berries. I have a whole bunch of null berries too, so that shouldn't be a problem. Mm -hmm. And there's more in the in the box over there if you run low. Yeah, I should take my uh onward. Take my drinks. Yep. Take your delicious drugs. Okay. Right. It's dark here. You notice that? I think this mm. is the first time we've been on this map in, at night. Uh, I'm pretty sure we've done it before, but not often. No, there's not an actual time system in this. So, just for specific missions. Old ones tended to have a day-night cycle. There were certain monsters you could only investigate at night and things like that. Well, oh god, the tail! I forgot about that. Its tail is its most devastating attack. And this is not going to sound like it makes sense till you see it, but try to stay away from in front of it to avoid the tail. Okay. You know Raphael and Soul Calibur? Yes, I do know Raphael and Soul Calibur. That, but with its tail. So the thing where, like, you move forward and then suddenly you have a million tiny, tiny holes in you. Or one very large hole. Ah. Oh, right. Also, it's um, not... What's it called? That thing? Oh, it's leaving. <laughs> oh, it's attacking no, it's just another attacking monster. Those birds. Oh, okay. But yeah, it's not hostile until we hit it, which I'm going to do now. Oh, um... Already put its ice armor on. I guess it does that as an aggro. Oh shit! I missed. I missed the head. Oh, just let me sneak right by you. It's after you. Could not have Superman dived there. I don't say that often or lightly. I am doing an all right job attacking this monster. Hell yeah. Oop. Ah, uh, there was the rapier tail. Yep. See what I mean now? I do. Uh, let's stay away from that. Very much, yes. If you uh, break the tail, it does. Uh, lower the range of all of its different tail attacks. Doesn't prevent them, but it decreases the the range. There we go, double trigger. Back there. Ow! Oh, I need to back up and drink a. Uh... Or state med. Oh, I forgot to add my high potions to my loadout ah. after I made them. Oh. So that's a shame. You're welcome to rush back to camp if you want. I can keep it busy at stage one. Nah, no, I'll wait until it takes a flight and then I'll uh, okay. set back. Okay. Nope, not that. Drink the potion. There we go. Uh, you'll move slower in frozen areas, not nah shit, Arlo. <laughs> well, uh, I guess I'll add my potions to my hotbar now. Okay. Ow. Current mood. Kill getting killed by this guy. Oh, it's snowing. Isn't that lovely? Oh, it's fighting. I have to take my, um, my demon drug and stuff again, don't I? Yep. Yeah. I got this. I'm on a Magna Marshmallow. Must be very big. It is an ex exceptionally large Magna Mallow. Oh, that is a pretty big Magna Mallow. I'm looking at it on the stream now. Mm-hmm. 
Magnamalo seems like it would fuck up, uh... Vanquish on ya. That's not its name. <laughs> God. Gotta love that rocket attack. That's my favorite thing in these games, is when something is so completely overblown. And fucking cartoonish. I'm just gonna... Yeah, stay back, because you're doing this thing. Yep. That looks like it sucks. Yep. Oh, I have some extra potion. I guess. Where's the orange? Probably the underbelly, huh? That's gonna be a pain. Oh, shit. Look who oh. it is. Now it's fighting Rajong. Yep. Time to kick a little ass again. A little more ass. Uh, more ass. Some amount of ass. I love that I even get its super attacks. Oops, fuck that one Oops. up. Spacing. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. I got this spacing. Yeah, if it hits from all the way across the map, you don't really need to worry about spacing, do you? Exactly. Here's another one. That's excellent. That was almost 1,800 damage per. Per total, rather. Alright, here's the finisher. There we go. Easier to hit the underbelly when it's on its side. Nope. Getting away. Had to run eventually. Don't let it escape. Onward into battle. I like that my character just talks like a super lesbian. Yeah. I think that's very important. I'm safe now. I can heal. The fuck you can. <laughs> that's how a lot of elder Please. dragons are. Oh, whoops. Oops. Don't want to be in the middle of that. Nah, uh, that looks bad. Looks, uh, cold. Master Arlo got mad at me the last time I got in the middle of that. Mm hmm I was gonna keep chopping away at his neck parts. Okay. I'm gonna keep running down its side like a rail. Rolling around at the speed of sound. I got places to go, gotta, gotta follow, follow my rainbow. My rainbow. <laughs> we have a slight delay. I mean, yeah, we're on mic. Uh-huh. Even if you run a uh, server out of your own house, you still get a delay. Like a noticeable Ooh. delay, and that just bewilders me. You're better than that! I need to heal, but I also need to not die while I'm healing. That's a good idea. It's currently targeting me. Oh, good. Trying to kill me with its uh, tail combos. It's targeting you. What if I told you that it's targeting you? Yeah, we're using the mumble. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, there's less of a delay if we were running it out of the house. But there's still a noticeable delay. It makes say, whoop, um, singing together very difficult. Yeah, but that's what makes it fun. <laughs> you know what? You're right. Now it's on you, so I can sharpen my blade. Good. Oh, it roared. What are you yelled at? It yeah, it's a my juice ran out. It's a hypothetically local server in that we're both using it in the same local location. So it's going <laughs> uh, from here to uh, X location, wherever the Mumble server is. I don't wish to say and my then, guess is on that. And then back to us. Yep. My brain was just like, so technically that's twice as much latency as a local server would have, but that's not in any way how that works. No. Can't catch me. You're too slow. You 
It's me with your tail, dick nerd. Oh shit. Glug, glug, glug. Just trying to get to where I can get the orange juice. Oh, too high. Fuck. Why is it so hard to get the orange juice? Uh, supply issues mostly. <laughs> Whoop! Superman dive to dodge everything. Yes, I just turned around and dove directly through that ice. Beam. Apparently, our dedicated server is hosted in Quebec, Canada. Ah, that's ah, almost like a whole other country. Waiting for the angry Canadians to storm in. I was wondering if that was an <laughs> intentional dig at uh, French Canadian separatists. It wasn't, but it can be. It can definitely be interpreted that way. Yeah. Uh -huh. I was mostly con um, referring to the fact that I have met multiple Americans who think Canada is a state. Mm hmm. All right. I'm an atcha. I'm an atcha, Velcana. Rush hour renegades, the. I'm an atcha. <laughs> Wow, that almost went really bad, but then it went really good instead. You ever not realize that something's lodged in your head? <laughs> All the time. Cool. Cool, good. Not just me. That's that's all I'm asking here. <laughs> ah, you can't get me with your roar. I have all the juice. Everyone knows that juices make you... Having all the juices makes you... I'm immune Strong to screaming. And, brave. and immune to screaming. Maybe I should drink more juice. Maybe that's the problem. Could be. As it is, I'm quite weak to screaming. Oh, god damn it. Ah, fuck. I was just trying to get on it, too. Uh, let's fight the Magnamalo, because I could use some of the stuff it drops. Okay. Let us go! Very hard to stop attacking if it uh if it falls over and get when you're when you're already attacking it. I personally think they could have stood to make the trigger to get on it something a little less terrible than just hit. Uh huh. And I like the new system, the new mount system. I really do. Once I got used to it. Uh, next one should the uh, Magnamala should be ready to ride. Oh, yeah. Hell yes. Let's do this. You're here. I'm here. Come on. Well, the way I see it, Barry, this should be a very dynamite show. I hear AEW puts on a dynamite show. Ah, that's a good joke because their main uh, show is called AEW Dynamite. Yep. That was a very that was a very good reference and I'm happy for you. I thank you. Alright, let's scream. When Magnamalo crushes them, scream real loud. <laughs> I'm going after the tail. Okay, I just got all my juices back. Good. All at once, because it's really easy when it's laying down. You can literally just move along its fucking belly and get all of them. Oh, shit. I just launched myself into an ice shard. Ooh. I no, regret you don't. it. Stop doing it. That's more like Ivy than Raphael. Mm, I guess so, yeah. Yeah, because it, like, chains around be from behind into a big curve. Mm, I always think of Raphael because it looks it looks like a rapier. It does look like a rapier. Ow. Whoop. Ah, uh, crib. I mean, I need to pick up these bones. One's setting off 
fucking fireworks again. Oh shit, well, I fucked that up. You know, it hasn't ice blit me even once. That's I'm, really weird. It's been saving it all up for me. Apparently. I think this is much easier than the world version. That doesn't mean we're gonna necessarily get it on the first try, but we're doing real fucking good. Yeah, we're doing pretty well. I've only died twice. Oh, I found a trick toad. <laughs> you need oh, to get in a part. few pits from behind. Uh, I can just do the first end mid, really. I need to keep myself healed so I don't... Okay. I don't even know what happened there. There was an animation that I was, looked like I was frozen. Mm-hmm. And then I just was there for about a third of a second, and then I died. Um, should I wait on you to get back? How confident are you that you can keep on, uh, keep the fight up? Not particularly. Okay. Um, then you are welcome to wait for me. Okay. Are you doing monster stuff? Hmm? I'm just, uh, switching out items. Yeah. Oh, I should do a fucking meal, huh? Uh, I'm doing a little... I'm doing some damage. I decided. Okay. I decided I was gonna try. Hmm. Oh, ice. Oh, slugger. Fighter. Order. Oh, it's running away. Okay. Back to 11. Right out this way. Alright, I am... Oh, it's in the, the furthest oh. underground part of the cave system. Yeah, I just need to eat these bones real quick. Tasty, tasty bones. I probably should have just should just fast travel to the closest camp. Oh. It can still attack from across the room, but we're not trapped in the arena, and there's no forever stun, so it's definitely better. Yes. But this does sound better than that, because that sounds like hell. Mm. All right. Oh, also, it doesn't have a... It's not doing that thing where it puts the big ice. The right one. It's not doing the thing where it puts the ice over like an area and then it breaks and you can just... and lowers the size. I'm remembering something like that, but it's not. It's not clear if I'm thinking the right one. Some weird ground effect where it was putting down hexagons. Oh, I think I've seen a couple like that. Mm -hmm. Kyle, please come here. Well, I got a Soul Prism Plus. I can, um... Ooh, that's a... That's a, a big one. I could put a Draugr in that and uh, make some very powerful enchantments. Y yes. Environmental hazards, yes. That, yeah, it isn't doing that at all. It's just putting down a few ice cones here and there. It's not terribly threatening in comparison. Oh, hey, there's another trick to set it off. I did set it off. Pull the fish in here, blade fish. Yeah. If you want to stand in their way. Yeah, I got him. Cool. But yeah, I think we're on fi uh, level 3 now, because it's using all of its different ice attacks in tandem. It used a really big attack a little while ago while you were still on the way here. Mm. Um, that mm. made me think that maybe we were in for a scene change. Oh, no. Oh! Yeah, I got ice right in the mouth. Yeah. Still pretty rough. Still a pretty rough fight. Yeah. 
It's not doing things to, like, prevent us from moving around, though, which is one of the things I really dislike when this series does that. You would like to do cutscene. Good. Yeah, that's a rough one. I think we can do that. I think so, too. Wants me to turn in a request. Don't know what it wants. Let's find out. Apparently, it's at the steelworks in the other town. Oh. Seems to remember hopping on and off a ledge to avoid two hit kill attacks because world is broken. Yep. Oh, shit. I remember that now. To see you. Thank you so much. By the way, on the way to see Rondine, I overheard something interesting. Apparently, Master Hammond and Nakago saw the gigantic corn, too. And then made a new weapon that looks just like corn. Those guys draw inspiration from just about anywhere. Hey, why haven't they made any weapons that look like my produce? I mean, go play some Pokemon. And you get a duck who has a weapon that looks like your produce. All right. Quinoa can give us... No, she still only does low-level village quests. Now uh, we're gonna have to go back, hey? Kill the knife dragon, yeah. We're... Oh, we can actually go to the uh, place here. Oh, right. It'll work. Just not Quinoa specifically. Special right, that is her name. I thought you said Quinoa the first time, and I'm like, that doesn't sound right. Meanwhile, here we have Minoto. All right, let's flashing swords upon the rhyme. May the spirits protect you. We'll smoke just as always. Purple smoke all up in my eyes. Hey. Here we go. All right, uh, ready to go when you are. All right, I, I am. Need to, I need to drink the the cat. That's, that's what we do, right? We drink the cat food? We drink food. the cat food, yes. Not letting me talk to the cat. Oh. Oh, right. They don't have one inside here. You actually have yeah, to go do. out. Did I? It's, it's right here. Oh, okay. It's at the table rather than the counter. Mm -hmm. My brain was not getting me there. All right. Eat a meal. Let's see. We want usual. The ice resistance. Plugger and fighter. Here's a different gay cat song. Or the same song. But with lyrics. What if gay cats had lyrics? Thank you, Mox. We are glad to be believed in. Or I am. Maybe I shouldn't speak for you. I mean, I'm not like the blue fairy. I won't. I won't fade away and disappear if people stop believing. Mm-hmm. There's a fucking character in um, Paladins like that. Willow. Whenever she dies, it's because people didn't believe in her. Time to go. Right, and not because she dove into a fucking three-on-one with a couple of tanks or anything. No, no, definitely uh, the believing thing. Definitely the believing thing, and the fact that you weren't there to heal her, you noob. <laughs> Please, believe in me. Uh, you ready? Uh, <laughs> uh... Yes, I've always been ready. Oh, hmm. All right. Time to lay it the smacketh down. See, that's a wrestling reference from when I used to watch wrestling. That was Rock the Dwayne Johnson who would say such things. Yeah. He would also say other extremely misogynistic things. 
Yeah, don't go back and watch the rocks work. If you do, do it with a warning. Yeah, do it do it with open eyes knowing that it sucks in there because it was the fucking 90s and it was mm -hmm. professional wrestling. 90s and 2000s. That is when storytelling really hit a renaissance in the WWF. Uh, unfortunately, it did come with other things. Okay. It's not fair, maybe. Mm. Actually, I was about to say maybe it's not fair to do this, but fuck them. They did it. They deserve <laughs> it. You remember Katie Vick? Uh, not off the top of my head. Give me some so uh, details. So Katie Vick was a alleged was a character, mm -hmm. an alleged former girlfriend of Kane, the professional wrestler Kane, who was, I'll remind you, a literal demon from hell. Yep, played except by a now, libertarian. Yeah, except now he is like just a guy who had a weird face at this point, yep. and who had like a past in history that wasn't being a literal demon from hell. Yep. Um, but I, I forget who the, it was Triple H. No, obviously it was Triple H. Yes. Uh, I think I know was, what you're talking about now. He, yeah, it was, uh, it was like, oh, I know this secret thing. Oh, right. I'm not doing my Triple H voice. I know this secret thing in your past, Kane. I know about Katie Vick. And it like, it ended up that he was like driving a car and we got into an accident and she died. Mm -hmm. Which is the kind of pathos that WWE doesn't usually do for very good reason. Because mm -hmm. they're bad and, at it. They're bad at it. And then, um, as a means to further taunt Kane, they set up a fake wake for this person who had been dead for quite a long time. That Triple H masturbated into the coffin of. Yep. And that uh, describes Vince McMahon's uh, authorial style to a T. It, it was bad in there. Mm -hmm. It was dark times. Ooh, I can actually break the ice cubes. That's nice. And then I yeah, can three-point landing. Exactly. It's the first 200 episodes of Mabim Bam warnings. Like, they're cool now. Uh-huh. And they've made uh, sincere apologies for the things they've done. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's not quite like that with WWE. No, but with The Rock specifically. Yes, with The Rock specifically with, very with much. With Dwayne. Dwayne the Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne Zoa Mighty uh, What? Zoa Healthy Warrior. Mm hmm. God, that stuff tastes like shit. It was quite bad. I keep meaning to maybe get another one and see if it's any better. Uh, one of the ones that aren't sugar free. Mm hmm. But like. I doubt it'll be much better, because it wasn't the sweetener that was making the gross taste. What's really bad is that we're going to get forced to do the 90s again in 67 years. Yep. Yeah. I hope that we as a society in 67 years will have emerged on the other side of, you know, what we've got going right now. Mm-hmm. The 90s Ow. for a while, ouch. Yeah. The 90s for a while were um, almost deified on the internet. And I really, I found that really uncomfortable. It it's like the 90s sucked, y'all. Sure, but like this is the uh, nostalgia of Robberos, right? Mm-hmm. Like, cartoons didn't even actually become good for the most part until 2010. Because that's when, uh... We... As in, people who were children in the 90s started making cartoons. Oh, Holy true crap! Magnamala was beating the shit out of Belkana. That shouldn't be happening. Oh my god! Magnamala just bombing in. Magnamalo still technically lost, but uh, Valkana did most or took most of the damage. Come on! I'm, I I swear to you, I am on my way. No worries. 
I'm riding, uh, I'm riding, uh, the big marshmallow now. He has stripes. <laughs> you know he's clean. And how? I'm not convinced. There's a certain part of me that's always thinking about a holy diver. Ah. Uh -huh. And Rainbow in the Dark. Have you ever played the, the NES game based on Holy Diver, the song? I have it in my, uh... I have it in my... ...list of mm -hmm. things to play sometime when I have access to a legitimate NES again. Um, but I haven't played it yet. <laughs> it's surprisingly good. It's not, like, incredible. But it's better than a song, a game licensed off of a single track. Could be. I was recently watching. Uh, I've I've been going back and watching like old watch and play episodes. Mm hmm. So have I. They came to uh. There was one of the episodes with Ben Swallow because Ben always brings in a whole bunch of like incredible retro games that no one's heard of ah uh. and brought in the journey arcade game where you <laughs> played the band journey getting their instruments back in time for the space concert in space mm -hmm. which is a wild thing to be doing on like 1987 brand hardware mm -hmm. there were little like faces of neil sean and neil pert like on 8-bit heads. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, that era of just licensing whatever to make a game was fascinating. Yeah, because we as a society uh, and as a, a sort of electronic culture hadn't started really... Oh, God, I'm so glad I was out of the range of that. Uh, cut a flying like what games were and should be just yet. Uh-huh. So it was just like, yeah, we'll just, oh no, I'm gonna die. No, yeah, I got too. out, I got out, I got out. Okay, good. I managed to suck down a potion. I don't yeah, go anywhere was, without my pal Superfly. That was the big attack I was talking about um, a yeah, while done ago. That, done that to me a couple times now. It is, uh, it's unpleasant. Uh, someone pointed out we're going through the same genre of stuff from the 1920s. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I've never been to the 1920s. People keep saying that Ska's coming back. You know what? Ska never left. Ska. God never left, my guy. Do, 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 do. We are also having a pandemic like the 20s. You're not wrong. Yep. It's getting away. All right. Let's be razor sharp. Sharpen this stick. There are very few weapons where they actually sharpen the blade, and I think that's just kind of become an, a running joke. That work on these. Mm-hmm. It's like, Wait, it's that's the wrong way. All the weapons look different, so every animation is going to look silly in one way or another. So oh, let's just make sure they all look silly. Yep. That's what I think they were, they, they're, they're doing now. It's kind of like uh, the, the X Death Exodus thing. Randy Mulholland brought up a 1920s character who had some things to say about the pandemic of this time. I remember seeing this going around on Mastodon, too, although I don't remember the character's name off the top of my head. But they were, mm -hmm. like, two-panel comics where, like, in one of them, the character is presented with someone who is being shitty, and then in the second panel spends the entire yeah. time explaining don't, the ways in which in. they are shitty. Don't go in. I'm going to throw a sleep toad at it. Uh, okay. I'm gonna put bombs by it. It falls asleep. Nope, that was not enough sleep damage. It might be immune. That's 
tried to paste an image into Element and it crashed. Oh no. Yeah, that sounds like Element. It just had an update today. Mm hmm. Which means Leave it's it gonna be extra buggy until the hotfix. And that should not be what updates do. No, it shouldn't be. But now nah, we're in move fast and break things still, I guess. Yeah. No, you're not gonna drop any of that on me. <laughs> move, <thinking>? fa <laughs> move fast, break things, leave a shitty looking UI. <laughs> That's lovely. Thank you. I felt very proud of it. Don't give up yet. Don't give up yet. Fine, I won't. Oh. You gonna be okay? Uh, in the second panel, the main character had dealt with the shitty person in an abrupt fashion and delivered the punchline. Hmm. Uh. Oh, my game actually lost cohesion for a second when Magnum Allo's AI uh, kicked in. They're screaming at each other. They're not attacking. Yeah, they're getting the hell away from each other. Oh, yeah. no. Maybe not. I just used a fucking wall to a wall run to dodge a big attack. But then my camera wasn't happy that I used one of the features that that is intended by the developers. Whoa. I'm on my way back. Okay. Oh, I should eat a steak while I'm on my way back. Yes. Uh, something I'm still pissed off about says Cherry is how corporate tech corporations made update something to be feared. And then when users stopped updating, they just started forcing updates. Mm-hmm. Fucking Windows 10 was like that until very recently. I feel Windows 10 is still like that. Every single time I see that fucking yellow dot on the corner of my screen, I'm like, oh, god damn it, I'm going to have to deal with some other bullshit now. I found that the, generally, that the, that the updates work okay. They keep resetting all my audio settings. They actually haven't done that to me the last few. I don't know what's going on there. Hmm. They had said at one point that it was something that was impossible to avoid, and now it doesn't do it, so I guess that's wrong. Mm -hmm. It's impossible to avoid, except on my computer specifically. Works right. on my machine. Stage, stage two, I believe. I'm gonna do that each time it's a uh, dragon level goes. Is this capturable once we get down to it, or is no? This... Okay. Elder Dragon. Damn it. I love getting too close for it to hit me with its tail. Probably my favorite power move against this one. No, get out of the dang way, thank you. Ah, there we go. Alright, we're gonna go down and uh, pay Rajang a visit. Okay. Jang mostly because uh, Magnamalo uh, won't have had its uh, ride damage reset yet. Uh, I think it recently, well, I think Rajang recently got popped too, so that might not no, be. That was the previous, uh, previous map, previous try. Okay. Pretty sure. Grab that. Does that work for you? No, it doesn't look like it. No, you were right. I didn't yeah, see they when had that a, happened. They, yeah, they had a bit of a fight while we weren't looking. Ah. Uh, that's a shame. Well, it's fine. It's tied to the ground. Mm -hmm. So we can at least, like... Get in there and do some shit. Yeah, and we've got the red uh, tether, so it's taking extra damage. Mm -hmm. I'm filling up my double trigger. Excellent. I'm flying. He flies through the air. 
He sure fucking does. I'm trying to find a rhyme with bug or insect. Fly through the air on the back of a bug. Daring young clown. Oh, I'm not really young anymore. Shit. Go. Going this way. Yeah, I'm also staying well back. Oh, ho, ho. I did not expect way. that to go off again that quickly. Tarling old clown wrapped up warm in a rug. <laughs> I like that. Uh, I have a cron tab entry that updates all of my flight pack stuff every Monday, but my main OS runs. My main OS updates manually from a system tray icon. Oh, someone's uh, doing donuts outside again. Yeah. Onward into battle. Fortunately, it sounds like it's in the. Well, not fortunately, but it sounds like it's in the uh, intersection this time and not in the church parking lot directly next to our house. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna get on top of my dog and I'm going to ride all the way away. Good idea. I like how it, like, prances around. It looks huge until you realize it's actually very slender. And yeah. It just kind of prances around on tiptoes. I think it's that's a got... very cute design. It's kind of got, like, a whippet body shape. Uh huh. Miss Piggy singing. In background, growing slowly closer. I. So that was the first time I'd ever fucking heard of uh, Borzoi, uh -huh. or however that's pronounced. Borzoi, Bor Bor Borzoi. Yeah, the yeah the bougie dogs. Yeah. So I wasn't aware that those weren't photoshops of noses. Oh no. That's just what the dog looks like. Yeah. I love those goats. Good. Don't let it escape. <laughs> oh, no, don't drink that. Oh, but I already started. Oh, okay. Oh, that's go. fine. Too blunt. I mean, it's toward the camp. Yeah. That'd it's up be on wild the if a story section happened where it wasn't supposed to go to the ramp. And it's like, oh no, it is here and it is destroying our camps. I completed the bones quest. And I do it for you. I knew it for you. Wild how two unrelated things just wind up permanently etched together. Yeah. Like pencils and cassette tape. Actually. Whoop. Alright, now I'm getting really into the acrobatics. I'm literally using my be... jumps to uh, fucking dodge its tail attack now. That would be really weird. Mm -hmm. Like. You and me, we go together like someone badly imitating Miss Piggy singing a song and pictures of Burzoi. <laughs> That's uh, the modern peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. Uh, why did I do that? How, how am I supposed to fix that problem? They're running at me. Run at me, you jerk. I said, I said, run Ow. at me, you jerk. Yeah, apparently no. Apparently me still. There we go. It's my. Did you see there was a new history of Power Rangers today? Yes. I had never heard of this one, but it's another dinosaur. Yeah. I seem to just be immune to uh, ice blight for some reason. It's a Doberman Pinscher and it's a life raft. How can this be? <laughs> I also do not understand this reference. Mm -hmm. 
sometimes you don't need to. That's what I think. Yeah, or at that's least fair. that's my at least that's my excuse. I like knowing things. Mm -hmm. I like I like knowing the secret language that people use to describe their own uh, mental uh, topography, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, is that bones? No. There's a corpse over here. That's good. Just what you want to run into. A whole corpse. Fortunately, oh. not a person corpse or even a gato corpse. That's a pig, and I'm glad I'm back here. Now you fuck off and do whatever you're doing, because I don't want to pick with it. He keeps combining more stuff into that final combo attack. Uh -huh. so I'm guessing this is this is the final stage before the pollution. This is the final stage. Let's D D R. Ow. I can't stop crying. Buckets of tears. You can move your body freely. EDR was really weird for how simple it appeared. Yeah. I hate when I email people and they email me back, right? It seems rude. They should just read the words, and then be satisfied with that. Mm -hmm. I had this conversation with my brother once, where um, he'd gotten a new phone. Mm -hmm. And sent, like, a mass text to everyone in his contact list. It's like, hey, got a new phone, this is the number. Mm -hmm. And I just sent back the word acknowledged. <laughs> and he saw me later, and it's like... Yeah, that's actually what I needed, because every single fucking person was like, why did you get a new phone? What kind of phone is it? It's like, I don't want that. I just need uh -huh. I just need you to know how to reach me My in phone case is one not of us is dying. Yeah. <laughs> Maldus was really into DDR, competed in a few tourneys. Cool. Sweet. Um, the only thing I really know about uh, DDR tournaments is there was a comic called 10K Commotion. Mm -hmm. That was about one. Mm -hmm. Hey, um, I... never get into DDR because uh, the way you have oh, to Jesus. dance in DDR is literally the opposite of how you actually dance. Hey, Andy, thank you. Fun. Oh, hey, Gossarog. Yep. Guess who's getting ridden? I'm, Bring it on. I'm afraid that the answer is going to be Gossarog. It sure is. Uh. Oh, I missed my clothesline. <laughs> Holy shit. See, that, no. was, that was some fucking pro wrestling shit right there. Noted, even noted with thanks is tiring. Mm -hmm. Damn, I kick ass. Going after the tail. Hey, okay, here comes the finisher. You know Quit what Vulcana's ice armor looks like? It looks like it's already being turned into Fallout 3 God Train. <laughs> One of the things uh -oh. I like in IT is the use of ping and act to start a conversation in chat or text. Mm -hmm. uh, Basil Juice is approaching as well. Oh, uh, I hate that. 
Basil Juice uh, has invited themselves to your party. Ooh, it Lynch. is calling you, dude. <laughs> oh no, the uh, the music industry is Basil Juice, not vice versa. Man. Damn, I love when I get perfect fucking hitbox dodges like that. Ah, crud. Oh, that's quite bad. Oh um, god, what was it? Ah, oh, Sisters of... Sisters of... Sisters of Ash or whatever. That was the first time you saw me fight a... The, the, the Titanite demon in Dark Souls 1. Was this... Oh, yeah. And I just kept scooting directly outside of its attack hitbox. Uh-huh. Oh, shit. That's that's how I'm feeling right now. Oh, God. I may have to bounce back to the campus. And really, this is when you're going to rush past. All right, I'm going to have to keep dodging while you're doing that. Hey, bye bye baby. Can I try and go. stay on... Volcana? I'm not leaving just yet. Oh, okay. Just soon. Lynch. And then died immediately because you just spun in 180 degrees and immediately did your breath weapon. Good. Yeah. Good flinch. Felt accomplished. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna leave. I'm All clearly right. not wanted here. I'm just gonna go. You also needing some potions? Uh, yeah, I need to. I'm down to just my regular potions, and I don't have many of them. Okay. Oh, fortunately, there's a camp, like, right here. Yep. And I can't follow you to the camps. Nope, I'm gonna have to wander through Basil Juice territory, then. Well, I'm dead. Wow, I didn't die. I'm so glad you didn't die. We. What are you gonna do about it, Volcana? Not shit, that's what. Smoke nut every day. Sorry, I found a smoke nut. And that's the rule. If you find a smoke knife, gotta sing the song. Yep. Have you seen my new life? Your new what? Have you seen have you seen my new license plate? I haven't. Oh. Right, you don't know that joke. No. I sure don't. Don't worry about it. Okay. Does it say smoke weed? Uh, well, let's say yes. Okay. I, I got I got it past the I got it past the DMV somehow. I guess with um, what eight twenty then? Mm. Weed's just gonna be legal, so they won't have any grounds to like take it away from me. So. Mm hmm. All right, well, I now have my, uh... Ant. I now have my stuff. Oh, is... Argosarog and Volcana fighting over there again? They can't fight unless one of it gets close enough to trigger their AI. Oh, I'm moving over there to see if they will do a fight with each other. The reason that Monster Hunter World was so CPU heavy is because it kept them all active at all times. Nah, they don't seem to be that interested. Just grumping at each other? Yeah, they're just sort of grumping at each other. Well, they get thrown. Mm -hmm. okay. Red. Whoop. Orange, white. I'm so good at that. So long as I actually know where to attack. Okay. 
you got no I didn't get I was I was making a reference to a joke I made some time ago in private and uh I shouldn't actually say that joke on twitch.tv <laughs> Twitch, comma, the television. Broadcasting from the island of Tavula. The Adriatic Sea. I actually think that's not correct. I'm bad at my sea geography. Hmm. Quography. No, that is correct, isn't it? Thank you. Aquagra... Aqua... Aqua... Aquagra... Aqua... 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 Wow, thingy. My, my brain doesn't want to try to grab that word. Ah. Uh -huh. Incoming! Incoming. You know it's incoming because my character just shouted it real loud. Yeah. It's just doing this over and over again. This is wild. Yes, I'm, I'm sorry, Mox. You're correct. It's Tuvalu, not Tavula. Mm -hmm. I said that wrong. And it's in the Pacific Ocean. Good. Don't let it escape. I'm glad I fucked that up on literally every metric. It happens. It does happen, but if I'm gonna fuck up that hard, maybe I should just not make the joke. Mm hmm. Basil Juice showed up. Yep. He just decided to crash the party, but it was too late. Hey, I heard y'all were getting into some shit. We're going home, Basil Juice. We, it, we had a lot of fun getting kicked out of the aquarium and then going to Denny's, but it's over now and I gotta go to work in the morning. Don't say goodbye. Just say so long. We'll begin one day and we'll sing another song. Is that the bridge to Skinnamary? Uh, no, that's uh, an Eric Nagler original. Ah. Simply called, don't say goodbye, parenthesis, just say so long. Oh, it's down to the blue. Hell yeah it is, which means it just upgraded its fucking armor again. Wow. I dislike that greatly. Alright. I don't know if Oof. it's going to stay in permanent fury. I have fury! Mm-hmm. Especially for that damnable plumber and his pesky green brother. Be careful! If I do not destroy those plumbers, Akaleta will become upset with me. I cannot have this, no. Why was everyone so into Bowsette when we already had Bowsaletta? Remember Bowsaletta? I don't remember Bowsaletta. I don't know what this is. Oh, that's the final boss of, uh, of, what's it called? Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Oh, okay. Because uh, Bowser also got lost, and then Cacoletta possessed it. Oh, okay. Ah, God damn Fuck. it. Okay. Oh, I can't believe I just fucked that up that bad. No, nope, don't look at me. Shit. I was trying so hard to run away. Oh. Well, that's all right. We can take a break right now and give it one more try. Yeah, that's a good idea. Whew. Uh, when I get down in blue, I just order ice cream. More armor seems healthier. <laughs> I agree that it seems logical. Ice cream armor. I like where you're going with this. Oh, right. I forgot we were in... Elgato. Yes. Everything was strange. All right. Like, oh. So remember that there is a civil rights movement happening around the country and the wider world. And this isn't something that we should be forgetting simply because news media. Is. We have ways here that you can help as black Americans, people of color, 
fight for things that shouldn't have to be, ever have to be. I just tried to say every word in that sentence at once. Uh, ever have to be fought for. These include getting ahead of myself. Black Americans, people of color, fighting for things that should never have to be fought for, like equal rights, equal treatment under the law, and not be attacked, terrorized, and even murdered by the police. We have listed here ways that you can help. They include the Bail Plunge Network to help keep protesters. And I read something else in the chat, and my brain's resetting. I am not doing well. All right, they include the Bail Plunge Network to help keep protesters out of jail, the Okra Project, and the Black Trans Travel Fund. Black trans and non flies and travel out of dangerous situations. And the Black Hills Legal Fund, the Lakota People's Fund to take back their land, the six grandfathers that was stolen by white people arbitrarily renamed to Mount Rushmore. Then had some white slave owners' faces carved into the side. One of the second commander Moore's ways you can have kept up to date by September here. The Eternal September in the chat. Please let it know if anything else needs to go here. Black lives matter. The lives of people of color matter. Indigenous lives and lands matter. Asian and Pacific Islander lives. Matter. These are things that we have to keep saying and pushing and fighting for all the way up to the very top. Not only understand and acknowledge them, but really work. Make them real protected truths. All right, we're going to be back in just a few minutes. Going to run some ads. We have no stance on ad blockers. Do what you need to do. Drink some water. Definitely drink some water. And we'll be back here soon.
right, I'm back. Just had a thought go through my head, which is probably nothing. But I could just, like, point a camera at the 3D printer for six hours while I made a model. That'd be a wild thing to try. Sure, there's people doing that. No, you're probably right. Makes a nice sound, is the thing. Just this very quiet like that. I really, I really like it. Does it in a nice, concise pattern, too. Could be something to try if, uh... No, not if. When Hades stuff gets off the ground. She's putting her heart into these. An extruding ASMR. <laughs> I need to check the the literal definition of extruding. If it's what I think it is, specifically, then there's not actually extruding involved. Fuck. Oh, okay. This is an article about people cheating at Overwatch. Rude. Rust or force it out. Yeah, so rosin printing doesn't involve extrusion at all. Really interesting how it works. You basically have a vat, which is like a square bowl that has some film across the bottom. And you put that on top of a high density 4K, 8K, whatever screen, which then puts out UV light. And you have a build plate, which is literally just a big metal plate that presses, well, not even presses, but sets itself down on the film. And then the UV UV uh, light causes the rosin to heart. And it brings it back up, waits a moment, and then brings it back down to put, uh, to, to, to put in the next piece. Didn't want to say spattering, but I don't know the technicalities. Yeah, it's actually a really interesting and smooth process. Just basically involves a motor and a bar that brings stuff up and down over. So anyway, hi September. Hello. Did you, did you welcome everyone back to our one year anniversary special? I didn't, but I should have. Would would you like to do the honors? Sure. Welcome everyone. Uh, it's. Again, uh, as we were talking about up at the top, it's our, uh, oh, crud. Hang on. Let me get in frame. I didn't realize what you were doing. <laughs> hang on. No, I'm, no, I went out, I went out to go get Dongo once, uh, hang on one second. <laughs> it's, hang on. I'm almost there. I'm so close. Uh, oh, oh. Is that it? Little, little to your right. Little to my right. Uh, turn slightly to your left. I, that's, I don't have very fine controls. Let me adjust the camera then. Oh, oh you were me... perfect for just a second. This works. Oh. This is good. Okay, cool. It's the mother fucking, uh, fork. One, <laughs> one year anniversary special. Woo woo! That particular. <laughs> That particular pose reminds me so much of Muscle March. I loved Muscle March. Muscle March was so good. So God Hand is a video game that is very much in love with the terrible, awful things that have become associated with the beat-em-up genre, which is why I do not think it's a classic like most people. Um, Muscle March was in love with big, strong people. That's and all. Bears. And bears. There was a bear who you could also play as. 
and it was one of the best WiiWare games, and it's never going to get ported anymore. Yeah, if, imagine if Chowaniki was a uh, fit the whole puzzle game, mm -hmm. and that's Muscle March. Yep. It was, and you know, and you played it, you held the Wii Remote in one hand and the Nunchuck in the other, and you would do the pose you wanted your character to do. You could hold up your arms and flex. You could bring them down to your crotch and grrrr. But it was just, it was so good. They, they saw the Wii and were like, yes, this is our time. This is what we should use the Wii's fantastic high-definition uh, motion control to do. Mm-hmm. Never gonna get ported anywhere, and that's depressing. Hey, got all three of them. Hooray, let's see if I get all three. I did not this time, but I did get Ice Resistance because that was 100%. I learned from my weightlifting anime that that pose is called a back lat spread. Oh, the one where you got your fists clenched down by your groin? Uh, no, where you turn your back to the oh, viewer. Oh, okay. And... Yeah. Gotcha. The other one. Exactly. Yeah. All right, let's see. Now they're at bone piles. Any bone. But yeah, the great thing about optional quests, optional subquests for getting um, armor spheres, is that... Uh, Which quest would you... Get armor spheres. <laughs> No, the, the great thing is that they even count if you don't finish the mission. Good luck. So oh, every, yeah. every time you uh, you lose at a mission, you get some armor spheres and go at it again. So it's never a waste. Chicken spice cornbread. I mean, that I sounds edible. Yeah, I can't decide whether or not that sounds good or bad. I made pumpkin bread, like, some time ago. Mm-hmm. And I can't imagine cornbread would be very different from pumpkin bread. It would certainly change the texture up and be a bit sweeter. Ready to go? Uh, not quite. I need to uh go to the Argosy and pick up some honey so I can make more high potions because I'm out again. Mm, so you're saying we should go back to the other hub? I. It would be easier to do that. Mm -hmm, just a sec, Certainly, gotta... I'm going to. Mm -hmm. I can come back to where you are, I suppose. Oboro. The merchant has something to say. I've been researching this medicine for ages, and I'm in need of some ingredients. I have all but one on hand. That one, estrogen. Perhaps you could help me. You see, I'm in need of a single sprout, and not just any will do. No, I need the extra <coughs> exquisite sprout. Oh. I've already made arrangements at the Spithy for a special weapon upgrade. Once the goods are delivered, the upgrade is yours. Oh. Uh, my master won't be pleased with me sending you out to gather my ingredients, but I can't leave the shop on it. And that gets us the high level corn pop. Okay, hey. see you soon. Corn popper. Mm hmm. I don't know who that is. It's the fucking... Uh, the switch? No. Uh, the... Land... The shield? I don't... Gunlance. I believe it's the Gunlance's, uh, comedy weapon skin. Ah. As we sit. Joining quest Clashing Swords upon the Rhyme. Sit. You. Wait, hang on. Uh, need to make I sure am I... tingling divinity. Sorry. Okay, ready. Making sure you had all your items? Yeah, yeah. All right. This time we got them. This is the run. I'm ready. I wasn't going to, given that I'm pretty sure I just ingested a whole like plant, but my brain got rewired on the way past it. Yeah, that's about right. Why did you eat an entire eggplant? Maybe they like eggplants. I'm not... <laughs> Sorry, that sounded way more hostile than I intended. I was just... <laughs> I was just... Want, like, that. Se I've seen eggplants, they're big. Mm-hmm. 
They're so Sometimes. big that in Britain they call them aubergines, which is British for eggplant, if you can believe it. Ate them for eggplant parm regions. That makes sense. Ah, you had that parm in there, and oh, then you got yourself a meal. Moon you over got... Parma, bring my love to me tonight. Mm -hmm. Brought her to East Lake underneath your silvery light. We're going bowling, so don't forget you're in Solon. Move over Parma tonight. I accidentally said move instead of move. Move over the... Parma, there's a Get new the... cheese in town. <laughs> Oh, it's next to uh, Magna. Go ahead. Oh, rad. We can just get that started. Yeah, hopefully we can get there before one of them decides to path out. Let's get it started. Depending on what day you go to Wikipedia, that's either the original version of that song or it's an altered version for the radio. Okay, I don't see our. Oh, they're at eleven. They're in. They're underground. Oh shit. Yeah, that's. I thought we're it not was with them. the Magnum Auto. Yeah, I uh, I can see how you would have thought that. Mm hmm. All right. Well, I'm getting away from the Magnum Auto now. Yeah, that's probably a good plan. I'm going down this pit. All this energy calling me back where it comes from. Dun, da, 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 dun. Such a crude oh. ad. We're just doing Drew Carey songs tonight. I got to hear that song performed live. Oh, yeah. That was the one where he fucked it up. Yeah. So Ian Hunter, I, I went to. Oh, to he's leaving. Other way. Ten. Uh, uh, I see it. So, uh, I went once with my mom to go see uh, Ringo Starr and his all-star band. Mm -hmm. And Ian Hunter was on the on the crew that year. Mm -hmm. Was one of the all-stars in the all-star band. Mm -hmm. I, I looked this up a little while ago, and it turns out I was... I went the one year he was in. Nice. Uh, he was, so, he was doing Cleveland Rocks, and thought, you know, to get some get a cheap pop. It's like, oh, I'm gonna say the name of the place I am, and I'm gonna say that place rocks. Mm -hmm. uh, so, in the middle of uh, of an amphitheater in the middle of a theme park in the middle of Oklahoma City, he goes, Tulsa rocks! <laughs> it's a two-hour drive away, Ian. Uh, and Oklahoma City thinks that they have a rivalry with Tulsa. And Tulsa does not care. Uh-huh. Because Tulsa's a real city and doesn't mm -hmm. need to prove anything to anyone. Oh, shit. Ooh. Ooh, Jesus damage. Christ. What's up? I got popped by every single wave of that. Yeah, he was doing a combo on me when I first got here, too. So much fucking damage. Okay. Feels like I'm not ready for it every time we come up against him. Okay. I've successfully got far enough away that I can use my heals without being trampled. Good. Being trampled is usually not fun, at least if that's not what you intend to happen. Yeah, I would not like to be trampled by, uh, Vilcana. Step on me, Mommy Vilcana. I'm glad that, th I'm glad that that's your thing and I support <laughs> you. Uh, it's not mine. But she's got such a sharp tail. No, she does have such a sharp tail. You're, you're correct in that. <laughs> and again, if what you like is a very, very sharp woman, uh, I'm starting to make your, uh, I'm starting to make your case for you, I think. Yep. Oh, I'm dead. Yep. 
Nope, it's fine. I gotta wait. Me too. Not by much, though. Oh, God. No, no, it didn't have the range to get me. Good. Hit me with ice. Rude. Just get. Uh, quit appearing ice above my head. In his defense, um. It would be really hard to fit Oklahoma City into two syllables. Yeah, would in Ian Hunter's uh, defense you're saying. Yes. I, uh, while I agree with you, he maybe shouldn't have tried it then. Uh-huh. Ah, maybe he'd been on the road for a while and wasn't thinking clearly. Oh, he had been, and also it was in the middle of, like, one of the worst heat waves we'd had at uh, that point. So not as bad as last year. No, not as bad as last year, but quite bad. And, uh, I remember really specifically, like, uh, Ringo coming up to the front and saying, Listen, y'all know how this goes, right? Where we walk off stage and we like to have some water and change shirts and everything. And y'all make the noise and we come out and we do a couple more songs. It's I'm too hot. getting squashed, yep. It's, listen, it's too hot. We're not going to do that. We're going to stay right out here and just sort of goof around for a second and chill. But we do want you to make the noise. <laughs> That's adorable. Yeah. Knife princess is the opposite of pillow princess? You know what? I, it's this is this is getting again into I actually shouldn't be making jokes right now <laughs> Because I like being able to perform on twitch mm -hmm. And I shouldn't bet Valkana talk. could perform You don't want this <laughs> You're go you're goading me like you want this and I assure you you don't I'm not goading anyone. It's my own jokes. All right. <laughs> they can't ban all of us. Oh, wait, we're all on one channel. They definitely can. They super can ban all of us if they want it. <laughs> Apparently people are getting away with just throwing titties up on YouTube now. So I don't know. Maybe it's the Wild West. Yeah like rules about how titties can be presented on YouTube. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was still a, like pretty serious no titty zone. No. Um, ever since the uh, male presenting nipples thing, people have been trying to... Ah, fuck, I thought I had that. People have been trying to come up with, uh, you know, <laughs> ways that aren't <laughs> terrible to, to run their services. They're not succeeding much. Were there titties in 1920? Like, did they exist? Yeah. <laughs> That's why they called them flappers. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, but they called them ankles back then. Ah. Yours was better. Some of the first movies made were porn, which is correct. Yep. Porn's the reason why we have Blu-ray instead of HD DVD. Mm -hmm. It's also the reason VR almost succeeded. All it got real close. So like. VR is still a thing currently, and I think that that is entirely up to VR porn. I think that's the whole reason that there even is a market for VR. I think VR chat also has a big like. I I'm it. aware that I'm aware that sex happens in VR chat, mm -hmm. but like 
from sort of a larger viewpoint, having a a virtual space to exist in where you can choose what you look like mm -hmm. is an incredibly useful thing. Mm -hmm. They kind of fucked themselves over by disallowing modding all of a sudden. Oh, did they? Yep. Oh, that's not something I knew. That's an absolute fucking shame. Right? Considering that's the only reason people used it. I just broke a bunch of its ice and it made it flinch. Holy shit, that was awesome. Um, it's running away. Yeah. Running away! Yeah, onward. I need to onward. eat it. VR chat really threw itself into the toilet. Yep. And oh, all the good mods. That sucks. VR chat could have could have been, you know, the stepping stone to the future, as they might say in a terrible documentary um, from the 50s about the year 2025. Look around you. Look around you. Ooh, trick toad. I'm going to start this off right. I'll confuse it. Oh, it's pissed at that trick toad. Good job. doesn't look like it uh, feels very charitably about this tortoise either, but... Mm -hmm. Oh, I was gonna eat a food. Ah, oh, crud. This is just like real life. Mm -hmm. And that we continuously forget to eat? Yeah, I mean, it's... So eating's one of those things that I used to have a really hard time, like, remembering to do, and... Now I forget much less because I've like rigorously trained myself into like uh like six, twelve, and seven. Ah. Uh -huh. I uh, have it's... different reasons why I forget less now. Mm -hmm. But I do have reasons why I forget less now. Good. Oh shit! Ow! Rude. Oh, I went through my potions real quick. Oh, god damn it. Oh, god. Oh, cool. You stopped its combo attack. Thank you. I, I got hit by its combo attack. I don't think that's the same thing. Well, it didn't uh, dive at me, even though it had put me in the stun lot. Uh. I'm glad to have helped. I'm very glad you helped. Oh, yep. Superman dough, but there was ice in the way, so it didn't quite work like I'd intended. Ah, oh, duck. It's targeting me. I'm still just thinking how funny it is that the devs of VR chat really did go, hey, you know this hangout game? We gotta stop cheaters with easy anti cheat. <laughs> that is some wild shit. You know this virtual um you know this virtual area we've created that doesn't have um a win state? We gotta stop all the cheaters. The people who are cheating at chatting. Well. All good. Yeah. Working on. Oh. All right. We got the ride going. This is Tony oh, cool. Hawk the ride. Let's go. That was the one for the balance board, right? Yeah. It had its own, like, peripheral, too. It just was, like, a skateboard. And it's better than it should have been, but it's still not very good. That is a much smaller Magnamalo than the first one we bought here, or the first one I wrote. Either that or this is a much larger Valkana. Now I will ride the Shoe Puff. By the Shoe Puff, I mean the Magnamalo. Mini Malo, there you go. So have we as a channel just sort of been getting hornier? No, I don't think so. I think we've always been kind of horny. Okay. Boom! Oh, that's so fun. 
I actually saw an opening and managed to take advantage of it for the giant stab with the tornado and everything. Oh, nice. Did almost a thousand damage. Blade fish. Old dragon treasure. Excellent. Oh shit. Oh, going this way. Oh, I'm much too far away from you now. Alright, armor's back. Nice. I believe that ride pushed it to level two. I am up here. I am also up here. You're further up than I am, clearly. Ah, okay. Oh, hey. Okay. It just sent curved light at me. Not supposed to be able to curve light like that. Ah, it must be through its um, ice, ice and crystalline armor body. Oh, it's a prism. Yes. That's good. I like prism monsters. Mm-hmm. It's targeting quit? you. I have to leave. I simply must leave. Go for it. Okay. Ooh. Guess that's one way to leave. Yeah. All right. Like Mock said, this took us several weeks in worlds. Yeah, but we got it down to like blue zone. Yeah. Like I think we have a chance here. Definitely. I got it's a okay. quartz. I call an old lady trying to sell you some healing crystals. Oh no. Oh no, not that. Not Velcana. If, if you need a dream catcher, you can buy it off my Etsy store. Too blunt. Oh no. So, when I was very young, there was a program mm -hmm. at the library where they would get various First Nations leaders to come in and talk to kids. Mm -hmm. And we were taught some cool shit. They taught us some really cool shit. And uh, some of that was uh, the things to do with uh, what their spirituality was called. But uh, I learned how to make uh, dream catchers by hand. I thought that was really cool. And now I just see all these middle-aged white ladies selling it. Very, very depressed. Ooh! I just saw a bunch of fucking uh, numbers there. Hey, you broke apart. Ah, sweet. I broke its armor off. Oh, good. Um, I'm in the room. Okay. I'm hoping that momentarily I will be dealing damage. Shit, my juice ran. My juice ran out and I got stun locked. Oh wow, that was a good flinch. Don't let it escape. Oh, it's... Okay, bye. See ya. Oh, maybe it could fight the Magnamalo again? Probably not, right? Mm, no, not likely. It's made with real icicles from my body. In the room with us right now. Yeah, Magnamalo is running like hell. I'm seriously falling over. Good night, beekeeper. Later, beekeeper. Thanks for coming. I just hope our internet keeps working. Forever? That would be very nice. I would enjoy that. I would enjoy that choice if Cox Communications made the choice to make it so that our internet works. Like all the time instead of like just a little time. bit? Instead of just occasionally? Instead of when we get onto them enough? Uh-huh. This shouldn't be hard. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna die. No, that's fine. It's gonna be, uh... You know, when Pam gets back in the office, I'll, be, I'll have to be like, Hey, so uh, our last... 
but our, our last major um, incident was literally yesterday. Because you know it's going to fuck up right before she gets back into the office. <laughs> but Jang has left the locale. Basil Juice has appeared in the locale. Every time with Basil Juice. Every motherfucking time. Man, I hate that guy. Who let Basil Juice know we were throwing a party? Hey, who invited this guy? You want to talk about a missing stare? You got Basil Juice. <laughs> How about a Care Bear stare? You want to talk about a Care Bear stare? That's not Basil Juice. Not even a little. Basil Juice hates, hates caring. Because it is his one true weakness. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, well, that's on me. Definitely should have healed before doing that combo. I just remembered the Fox and the Hound will be friends forever, won't we? Mm -hmm. And now I'm sad. Yep. Fox and the Hound is a fucking rough one. That is, yeah, it is brutal in a way you don't expect fucking Disney stuff to be. Yeah, it's like the, uh... You talk about, like, Fox and the Hound, right? Why did it put me back here? That's a good question. Probably because that's where you picked up the quest from. Oh, yeah, and then I moved back to the other hub after getting the quest. Yeah. Okay. So probably because what? Oh, I was just saying, you know, like, uh... Fox and the Hound isn't, or not Fox and the Hound, like Disney's Robin Hood, the furry one, isn't getting a re-release ever, yeah. probably. It's about and how I, rich people are bad. Yeah, and I, beyond that, I don't understand why it would absolutely make them money. Uh-huh, you know how many furries would buy the collector's edition? Oh my god, Most all. of them. I would. <laughs> I don't claim that community is a part of myself, but that's... It's a mm -hmm. whole thing. Mm -hmm. It's a re it's a really good version of Robin Hood with a lot of really appealing animation. Oh. So I don't get that one. I do understand why Fox and the Hound never got a re-release either. That is true. Disney is ma busy making furry propaganda. Yep. Oh. That movie was uh that movie had some very confused mess. I'm sure is intentional. And, like, people talk about how Bambi's mother getting shot is the thing that traumatized them as kids. I mean, it's that's, quite... That scene is shot in a way where you don't really see what happened. And I didn't actually understand that that's what had happened for, like, several years after the first time I saw it. Fox and the Hound is straight up graphically brutal. Yeah. I'm not sure which came first. Did they learn a lesson, or...? Well, no, they always had the lesson was the point of Fox and the Hound, and then everyone around them was telling them, no, you a fox and you a hound can't be friends because you're busy being racial stereotypes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sorry, they, they, basi uh, they basically did David Cage shit. That is exactly right. Yeah, basically Disney sucks a lot. Yeah. Kingdom Hearts is sort of the last Disney thing that I have mm -hmm. in my heart, and I care about it for the for the stuff unique to Kingdom Hearts more than the Disney stuff. Mm hmm. I have really enjoyed the Owl House, and I'm waiting for the final episode. Oh, right, Owl House. They did, um, they canceled it. No one really knows the reason why. Except that it seems like everyone seems to know the reason why. Everyone knows the reason why, but they're not allowed to say it. Right. 
Which is that it was too gay. Yeah, it is too gay because they did manage to get, I think, a four um, feature length episode like Adventure Time did for the final story. I said stereotypes a moment ago, and I don't think I meant that. Hmm. Fox and the scorpion and all that. Wait, that's not, it's a frog and a scorpion. Oh, it is just our nature to be hate. All right, so anyway, that's all we're going to do tonight. I'm sure we can get that next week. Oh, make a big stretch. Everybody stretch with me. Oh, I should also stretch. Unless you don't need to stretch, in which case you're welcome to not stretch. Come stretch with me tonight. I gotta get that fucking show. I gotta go back through that show and see how well it holds up. It was one of my adventures of Teddy Ruxpin. You know, you know what the best thing about the adventures of Teddy Ruxpin is? It may not be the best thing, but it's a really great thing. So first, the original villain is Tweeg, who's kind of a bumbling, just kind of a bumbling dork. And uh, he's got his much smarter than him henchman. Um, fuck, what was his name? LB. His name was LB because he was a bounder and he was the leader of the bounders. So he was LB for a leader bounder. But uh, then when it moves on to the next um, story arc, find out that there's someone, there's another villain just pulling the strings of all the villains in the world. His name is Quaylor, but that doesn't really get mentioned a lot. He's referred to by his title, which is the Supreme Oppressor. Which is so fucking good. It has stuck with me since I was two years old. Mm-hmm. So I have a good news about the Teddy Ruxpin cartoon. Oh, yeah? Yeah, have you ever heard of archive.org? Ooh, it's all up there? Uh, I don't know about all, but I'm s certainly seeing some. Ooh, excellent. I will have to look through there again and also shave my other leg. You should do that. And I don't know how I just, that's how fucking out of it I am today. I just completely missed an entire leg and my legs aren't small. So it's not like I didn't see it. Hmm. All right. That's all for tonight. Um, remember to keep on top of our schedule and maybe we'll be able to stream all week. This is the first in three Wednesdays. This is the first one that the internet has been working. And we didn't get to do Monster Hunter Rise the week before that because I picked that day. So let's see. Let's let's go over the schedule real quick. So it was Wednesday today. Tomorrow, Alice is going to be playing Final Fantasy XII. Andy is going to be starting on Scars Above on their channel, Andy Mo. Friday, we've got Katie playing Tales of Arise. Saturday, uh, someone on the Xenon Fiber channel will be playing Hearts 2. Sunday, we've got Wandering Beekeeper on his channel, Wild... No, on his channel, Wandering Beekeeper, playing Wild Flowers. Uh, Monday, got uh, Andy playing Deliver Us Mars, and September and Katie playing Arcade Spirits, The New Challengers. Tuesday, Andy will be playing something new. Turned out that the shady part of me was a bit shady in its messaging. Am I right? Am I right? High five. You are right. Back. Aww. All right. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's our schedule. And then on YouTube, you can find us at youtube.truck.community. You're right, video game player. Or at youtube.com slash squirrel lily. Uh, there's thousands, literally thousands of hours of uh, stream. Up. So, uh, you can watch me and Mox play Monster Hunter World which was more of a, a straight up struggle than this game because Monster Hunter World is kind of broken in some really funny ways. Not always funny, but often really funny. This game is a lot better put together. I like how you're just off in the background on this the screen here. Oh, uh, hang on. There we go. Ooh. 
who's got two thrums and is biting Rob Van Dam's gimmick. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone, for coming, and we'll see you next time. My name... Oh, I gotta say the thing. It's been so long that I forgot to say the thing. <laughs> <clears throat> my name is Zoo. I hate video games. Give my regards to the next Froggy. Thanks for joining me, September. We'll see y'all later. Good night.